Hello there, I'm Jorge. We're just leaving Port Cuesti uh, here in France. Uh, we're starting this offshore course, sailing course of Sailing Virgins. Uh, the last few hours we have been briefing the crew about the boat and what's gonna be the week like, what we're gonna do. And they're all so excited because it's gonna be amazing. So today has been the first day of the course and it's been a good day to get to know each other, get to understand this boat and we've been practicing a few maneuvers around the bay, we've been doing some tacking, jiving and right now we're about to arrive to Port Alligan which is our first destination. Hi guys, very good first day. Glad to be with you here, good weather, good people, good boat. Cheers. Cheers. Day two of this performance course uh, here in France. Uh, I just joined the, the crew. Um, I'm going to be only co-skippering this, uh, this course because I'm uh, busy working here uh, on a class 40. We have this boat here, uh, TS42. It's a super light built uh, catamaran that is built for cruising but also for racing and the idea is just to use the playground around here that is pretty amazing. Normally, you know, the boats we have, we don't push them to the limit uh, quite as we should. So that's, uh, that's a bit the objective for, uh, for this week. How to push a boat and, you know, what's the limit, how to look for the limit of a boat. We can try to close hole as much as we can. Here, I'm getting in there, okay? Dale un poco de velocidad. Big sigh of relief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some speed is always good. good. You look at your numbers, you're like, oh, I'm 40, so bear away slightly. Get some speed. Feel the speed, you know, in your bum. The boat starting to, to move. And there you go. Tomatoes are a risky one because they roll. Mm, yeah, I know, but so far they're under control, as long as we don't have such. After a 30 mile sail uh, from um, the previous stop, and uh, now there is two uh, really nice hits uh, in Bois. First one is have a nice beer after a long day of sailing, and the second thing is go and explore uh, by bye. <laughs>
right, we've uh, woken up in uh, Goa Island and uh, we've been some uh, doing some theory this morning and now we're about to have lunch and head off. Uh, the guys are working on the passage planning and the idea is that we build them a little course. Uh, the idea is that they complete this course as fast as possible and uh, by themselves. Bananas are bad luck on board because you know they carry spiders and stuff and there is another thing that is bad luck but I cannot say it now because it's bad luck to say it, just say it. Yeah. So it's an animal with uh, long ears that shoots uh, that like carrots. So uh, yes, yeah. Yes. But don't say the name because uh, you know back in the you know navy, not the navy but you know the old chiefs, wooden chiefs. But when they would escape from yeah, the cage, uh, they would chew everything. Yeah. So all the lines, all the ropes, so they would escape and chew the boat until it sank. So that's why it's bad luck. <laughs> right, so in these conditions, now we have the swell with us. The idea is to climb a little bit <clears throat> to build some apparent wind speed, yeah? We climb a little to about 90, 95 um, degrees of true wind angle. We build some speed and you're gonna feel the boat charging, yeah? You wait for a little gust of wind and a wave and at that moment, you bear away really slowly to try to go with the wave and serve the wave, okay? You see this little wave there? You try to put the, the dagger wood in there. And now you're very wave. 15, 16, 17! 18, I've seen 18! You've seen 18? Yeah, nice. baby! You broke the record! Nice one! Woo. They always give me goosebumps. So when do you get a room with that kind of view? That's 12 knots. Right, we're just arriving in Lorient, which is uh, pretty much the biggest offshore uh, sailing place. It's really the capital for anyone who's crazy enough to take a boat and sail it around the world uh, single-handed. So we'll see plenty of Imoca, of Ultim boats, all really, really crazy. I'm gonna check out that. Play these bombs that they used to destroy dams that, you know, uh, rip on water before. So they sunk this boat. Huh? Yeah. So they sunk the boat there, so the, the Allies plane could not launch bombs in there. And they're still there, because they could also to break waves. Over there, you see with the mast that is a bit leaning, that's an Ultim. That's the biggest uh, offshore racing boat. They're 32 meters long for 23 wide. They go up to like 50 knots. Uh, see the little boats there? Mini 650s. That's what I crossed the ocean, the Atlantic on last year. That's a TS-50, that's a big browser of this one, of the 57, sorry. We start a visit with the smaller offshore racing boats that there is, the Mini 650. 650 because it's 6.5 meters long, the amount of space you have. In there, it's close to nothing, so you sleep on a bean bag right there. No electronics, but these two screens, no charts, uh, no electronic charts allowed. Okay, so Damien Seguin, the skipper of the boat, is disabled. He has only one hand, so this grinder has been adapted to make him able to, to grind because he can't grab the handle. So he puts his, his hand here and he can still grind like anyone else. This is the live space. You know, you've got the computer here, prepare the, the material, the forecast, and the engine. Here you've got the kitchen. 
<laughs> Wonderful kitchen. <laughs> so, Eltim, this is probably the, the craziest boat for me on the planet. Uh, they're 32 meters long, 100 foot, feet, foot. T rudders, yeah? This part here goes down in the water because you have to imagine this boat is flying kind of two meters and a half above the water, yeah? So the T rudders goes down. You see these little uh, winglets, yeah? So the foil controls the direction of the boat, but also controls the altitude of the boat. This requires the boat to have a brain, a big brain for the autopilot, because the autopilot doesn't only control this, it also controls the flight altitude, yeah? So yeah, this is designed to be single-ended, really, really fast, go up to 50 knots. All right, so we're just getting out of La Bas in Lorient. We set the boat for stormy weather as we are surrounded by squalls, big squalls around. We have two reefs on the main. We're about to use the stay sail. It will likely hit us in the next 10 minutes. So already with the wetsuit. Sailing Virgin's performance courses are not just about visiting amazing destinations. They're not just about meeting truly adventurous people. These courses are about sailing fast. Sailing faster than most sailors will ever sail. Any school can teach you how to park a cat in a marina, but the Sailing Virgin's performance course will take your sailing to a whole new level. We're talking sustained 20 plus knot surf, the boat humming, rooster tails of wake behind the boat, and the surge of adrenaline that goes with it. We want you to push your limits, to push them deliberately. Inquire about our upcoming courses. Head to sailingvirgins.com slash performance. That one, it. <laughs> We're good though. We're gonna leave you here for this vlog. Uh, make sure you check out other videos and uh, Jorge and I are always organizing courses like this around here, so join us.